Hey Leo. Hey dude. What's happening, man? Hey everybody. Uh, I thought I would give you a little different view today. So I'm out on uh, the other side of my house, basically. Uh, you know, just a little, little change of pace, maybe. I have been sick. I've been sick for a few days now, and I'm finally starting to come out of it, which means I think it's time to try a beer. You know, it's been a few days. I, I don't like to drink when I'm sick. I feel like it'll make me worse. So I haven't been drinking anything. Uh, but as you know, that awesome package came recently. So I have the Firestone Walker Union Jack ready to pour. That's an India Pale Ale. I thought I would start with the Pale Ale and then move on to uh, some of the other more, uh, the, the other stronger ones. There was a um, double IPA, double barrel beer, I think, uh, double barrel ale. Uh, the Wookie Jack is the Black Rye IPA, I believe. And of course the Pliny. Now, I was thinking about starting with the Pliny and the only reason I didn't was because um, that bottle, the Pliny, the um, Wookie Jack, and the homebrew that um, Kevin and Christian sent are all 22 ounce bottles. And I kind of would like to share that with uh, my brother. Um, so I'm going to wait on those until Mike's around and we could do tastings of those together. Um, so check this out. I have a tripod, which means I can set this up so that everything looks real stable like all right so firestone union jack boom Let's see i have a bottle opener somewhere around here around these here pots uh, uh, uh. Uh. i'm looking forward to these man i haven't ever had a firestone walker beer and uh kevin and christian clements were nice enough to send these along to me. They sent a, a good package, you guys saw. And, ooh, ah, that smells good. Oh yeah. I'm hoping that the audio on this is good enough. Uh, this is my first time shooting on the bloggy without like holding it. So I hope the distance I am from the camera is okay. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh man, whoa. <laughs> Oh, so close. So close. Oh, that smells delicious. Holy crap. Now, just for a frame of reference in terms of IPAs, oh, there's like a nice, this has like an orange juice tropical kind of smell going on with it. it smells really awesome. Um, and the color, it's also uh, nice clear. You could see right through it. Hello. Um, nice cool head looking on there. Hey. You guys know I don't do real reviews of these things. I, I can't. Uh, you know, I don't have the uh, the palette for it. But um, just a frame of reference. One of my I think my favorite IPA that I've tried to date is um, the Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA. I've actually purchased a case of that in the past, something I don't normally do with IPAs. I like them, you know, in general I like them like now and again, but the Dogfish Head I love, so I'm kind of looking forward to trying something new. Alright. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Ooh. What is that flavor? That's really good. It ends on, like, right at the end of, uh, at the back of the palate, right at the end, there's this flavor. It's really good. I, I'm trying to place it. Lee. No, buddy. You can stand here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Um, huh, what is that? I don't know, maybe like a pine kind of flavor? Pine resin? Possibly. 
I don't know. You guys tell me, Clements. You're the five stone walker uh, gurus. I don't know. It tastes good to me though, whatever it is. Uh, I have no idea what's in this in terms of hops. But, you know, you get a lot of the, uh, I, I feel like there, I think there's a pine thing going on, uh, a little bit of citrus, the aroma has that like, like I said, orangey, tropical kind of thing going on, plus the, you know, flowery notes, I don't know, good stuff, man, I'm gonna keep sipping on this, uh, I may say a little bit more. I needed this, it's beautiful out today. It's just like, I mean, I love when the weather gets a little cooler, but today it warmed up enough that it's just a nice, pleasant blue sky day. You know, you could probably see behind me the trees, uh, the leaves haven't really started turning color yet, but uh, that autumn air is definitely creeping in. When I walk outside, I smell the, the crisp, sweet smell of leaves and the acorns have fallen. Yeah, autumn's, autumn's here. I'm taking a break from my autumn ales and pumpkin ales so I could have some of these fire stone walkers. Good stuff. All right, so Saturday, my brother and I are finally, I feel like every video I say this for the past like two or three weeks, every video I say, we're gonna brew the graph this weekend, and then we don't. Uh, we're brewing the graph on Saturday. Truth. Did my camera freeze? We're brewing it. We're gonna do it. It's the ghoulish graph. Now, some of you uh, may have noticed that graph is finally kind of coming into the limelight a little bit recently with uh, Brewing TV doing a, an episode on graph. And they mentioned Brandon O's graph, which is the one that I brewed the first time I brewed it. Uh, hat trick and brewing in Q and 77 and Nate off the brew with Nate. You guys tasted that one, the Brandon Nose Graph. Uh, it's a really good, it's a really good version. It, it really is. Everyone loves it. Uh, you know, but I got a little antsy and I wanted to play around with it a little bit. If you watched that Bruin, uh, Bruin TV episode, you would have noticed that they also had a darker version uh, called the Gunslingers Graph which they said is probably more representative of what Stephen King was talking about in his Dark Tower series. Brandon O's graph is basically a cider. I mean, you have that one gallon of wort with four gallons of apple juice. And, you know, Brandon O talks about this in his, on his thread on um, homebrewtalk.com. He talks about how his whole approach was to create a drinkable cider within a few weeks rather than having to wait a year for the cider to like come into its own and he he definitely achieved that i mean that graph is drinkable in four weeks or so uh and it's delicious and it it sits well uh i really like it but i mean it really is it's a cider uh, there's really not much else going on for it in terms of like you don't really taste hops or malt or anything else it, it tastes like a cider so uh, the Gunslinger's Graph, that darker version, is more of a stout. I, I believe they'd use two gallon, two gallon wort with three gallons of apple juice, a lot of dark malts, um, and uh, it, it's more of a uh, stout cider. I forget exactly what they call it. Now that it may have gone a little too far. I don't. I didn't think I wanted to brew that exactly. So my. Uh, Ghoulish Graph, the one that we're going to brew, is basically a combination of the Brandonos Graph and the Gunslinger's Graph. In a sense, it's not really a combination, but I was trying to go between those two. I wanted it to be less of a cider and more of a beer, but not quite as dark, not quite as beer-like as the Gunslinger's. So. We're still doing one gallon of wort to four gallons of um, apple juice or apple cider. But in our recipe, we're using uh, chocolate malt this time. And I upped the crystal malt to a pound rather than I think I used half a pound last time. Uh, 
maybe a little more hop. So it should be close to the Brandon O's, but a little darker, uh, a little more malt character, more backbone. What's the matter, buddy? The dog Leo, he's going crazy over here. I don't know what's going on. Hey, hey, yo. All right, so I'm still drinking this. I'm sort of delirious. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm going to cut a lot out of this video. I'm just kind of enjoying the weather and talking to you, my loyal viewers, who are probably going to unsubscribe now. Speaking of, somehow I made it to 65 subscribers, which kind of blows my mind. Last time I really looked, it was, well, it was, I reached 50, and I was like, wow, I can't believe I hit 50. And then I went up to 65, and then I... I noticed that it went down to 64, so someone was like, nah, this guy sucks. And then it went back up to 65 and surpassed 65 to 66. And I was like, whoa, awesome, man. And then it went back down to 65. So again, someone was kind of watching my videos and said, I don't like this dude. Shut the hell up. Unsubscribe. Goodbye. It happens. I get it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Firestone Walker. Who knew? I cannot get this stuff around here. And I am now very sad. Very sad. Because it's like, you have to savor this, you know? You whisper sweet nothings into its cup hole. once it's gone, it's gone. I was thinking about maybe like doing a staring contest with uh, Warrior and Hen. He started that one video out with the creepy stare. I was thinking that I should totally do a staring contest with his video. Not with him, but with the video. So it'd be like a video on video staring contest. See, problem here is he had that cool zoom effect that he was doing. I, I don't know. I can't get like automatic zoom on that, so. I just gotta, I gotta slowly lean forward. Not the same, is it? No. Warrior and Hen, you beat me again. Ugh, until next time. Clements, thank you for the beer. Your package will be sent out tomorrow. I have chosen great beers for you. I hope you enjoy them. Everybody, cheers. Until next time, I wish you a fun farewell.